Oh, well, hey there, guys. What, what are you doing on the couch? Oh, you, you guys are here to see a video. Oh, well, you're just in luck, because it turns out we got a video that we were filming right now. You excited about that? Yeah, I figured. Now, today is going to be a very, very exciting day. That is for one reason, one reason only. The fact that we have a package on its way that is... My god, it is gonna be a big package, folks. We are talking massive! This is going to be the biggest <laughs> unboxing we have ever done on DVCB Exotics. Yes, 25 different animals we are gonna be unboxing today. It is going to be absolutely <laughs> insane. Excuse me. It's going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait for it. But just like most of my FedEx packages, I am just sitting here waiting. It was supposed to be here at noon, so you... I'm just here looking out for the package. <laughs> Yeah, that's about it. We we literally just have to wait for the package to show up. Renee's gonna get here. She's gonna help me unbox it because my god, this thing is going to be a massive unboxing. And that's about it. Now we wait. Hi. Ooh, good bird. Yeah. Oh, see, he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna tear my fingers off all the time. Just just I oh my god. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Seems old Archibald was not happy about his time out, so he decided to destroy his quarters. So right here we have him serving time outside because he is not good doggo and screams whenever I try to make videos. But huskies are just amazing pets. I think everyone should own a husky. It is fantastic. Okie dokie, folks. We are back in the reptile building. Finally, it's been, um, I don't know, five months or so, I turned the electricity on like last week, so I knew we were getting these things, and the box has arrived. My God, look at the size of this thing. Hang on, I think we need a thumbnail for this. So, like I said earlier, there are 25 animals in here. Looks like it's two boxes just taped into one. So with all that said, let's just get started. We got some nice styrofoam. Ooh, man. This is gonna be tricky. We got tokes and nets. Yep. The worst possible outcome you could think of. Um, so we got a bunch of tokes just squirming around in here. I believe there are four toke geckos. We'll take a look at those towards the end because you know, they're just tokes. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at the size of that one. Yeah, he's cool. There's some big boys. Then we got All right, some... so first bag we are opening up right now. If I can, if I can put in here. Oh, these are the ones I wanted to show off. Okay, so in here, Look at that. Here, hold it back. There's another one in there, I believe. So if, okay, buddy, okay. There might not be, I don't know if she put them in singles. So right here we have, oh, 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 oh. I love how like my face is two inches from the camera and it's like, let's focus on Renee's face. I'm brighter. So here we have the spiny tail iguana, which is absolutely incredible. Well, not looking like much right now. When these guys become full adults, their spikes get like that big. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but they get big spikes. Uh, these guys are just absolutely incredible. I love the darker coloration. You know, the green iguanas are cool. They got the colors, but these guys are definitely incredible with their spikes. I, I don't know if we're gonna sell these, man. I really want one. We might keep one, we might sell. I'm not 100% sure though, but most of the stuff in here is going to be sold. But just take a look at how cute this face is. Oh boy, that is a cute little iguana. You can see, not too bad. They're nice and warm from the shipment. There's a heat pack in here, so not too bad of an iguana. I, I like them. They're pretty, pretty calm already right off the bat, right out of the wilds of Florida. I guess I forgot to mention earlier in the video is the fact that these are all wild caught from Florida. So we're taking all the invasive species from Florida and we're bringing them over here and hopefully finding them new homes in not Florida where they're not wanted. Now I didn't get the usual stuff. I did get some stuff, you know, tokes. Um, there's some tegus in here, I believe in the bottom bag, but we also got some cooler stuff. Those spiny iguanas. We got a couple more amazing stuff to show. Renee's opening a bag right now. Three dollars. I'm sure there's stuff to um, catch up here too. All right guys, hopefully he won't run away. So these are gonna be our pest control. We, after the failed lobster roach experience, we uh, we need something to get these bugs. They're all over the house, so I believe, what we get, like six, seven, I, eight? Yeah, I don't know, like six We maybe. got quite a few but, little, um... oh, 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 oh. <laughs> imports and there's a 400 minimum to, oh oh my god okay <laughs> <gasps> 
<laughs> so these guys are another one I'm super excited for. Yeah, look at this. That's so cool. Could you? Here, let me. Get out of the frame, that's me. No, I want this to focus. So these are rainbow whip tails, which are absolutely stunning. Uh, Take a look. Egg in here too. These what? guys, just absolutely incredible. The color is fantastic. Look at this one. Oh Different. man. He's just smaller, I think. I believe that one's the female. So males are usually a little bit more colorful, like with collared lizards. So you can see she's going to be a little bit more dull where he's going to have these nice blues. Just fantastic. Very bright. These guys are awesome. I'm um, very scared. <gasps> holy shit. Look at these. Wow. What is this? Woo. He's squirming. Oh, he is not happy. Take a look at this guy. Nothing much going on. Looks like he's got a bit of a little, little nick there on the head, but check out the bottom part of this. We don't want to get bit. So, oh man, these nails are sharp. Take a look. Okay, we're just going to do a light restrain because I want to show off. Look at this tail. Oh my God, you're musking all over the place. Look at the size of that one. Woohoo! You're going to... This is the part you want to see. My God, look at these guys. This is incredible. This one's a little, a little bit more fresh, but wow. This blew me out of the water. I did not know these guys were going to look that good. So these are green Amavi lizards, which is something I didn't really hear about or know about until very recently. If you could stop being so fresh, um, obviously you see where the color comes from or the, what the name comes from, because look at that, folks. Look at the bottom. These blues and greens are just fantastic. This is an incredible lizard if you just Stop trying to bite me. That would be really oh, fantastic. Oh, see, this one hasn't tried to bite me at this all. This one's super nice. That one's a little, yeah, this one's a little bit more he's pretty rad. angry. Here, we'll maybe, put you back. Maybe once he gets warmed up, he'll get a little, you know, more frisky. But look at them. Funny head. I kind of see the head being like somewhere mixed between a um, Tegu and the Rough Deck monitor. So it's no, a little bit goofy. Like, see the color. It, I can't, it doesn't look like it's even. Yeah, this is not picking up. There we go. I mean, even then, just it's take still, a look like at metallic. that. It's like metallic. Like neon metallic. These are really cool. I didn't think these were going to be that cool when we, um, when we first unboxed them, but these guys are awesome. I don't what this is until I pull it out. It's got a... Big tail. It's got a crazy looking tail, but I'm actually not sure what this is. Come on, buddy. Oh, golly. Oh. oh, this is another spiny neck. Yeah, he's awesome. Or sorry, it's, yeah, no, spiny neck iguana. Wow, he's a lot bigger than the other one. We actually will need to separate these. We can't keep them together. But, so this guy is probably entering a sub-adult. I did get medium, so that one's a little bit smaller, the first one. God, stop focusing on Renee, Jesus Christ. Focus on the content, the lizards. But take a look at this guy. This is awesome, man. Pretty large right now, so still has a little bit to go. Probably gain about a foot or two more before they reach full size, but man, these are just cool lizards. Really calm, I mean, it's crazy. I thought these guys were gonna be like, or you know, my really only iguana experience is green iguana, so. You know, when you're thinking about that, you're thinking of animals that are clawing you up, whipping, biting, but I mean, Totally calm, not doing anything. This is, these are some really nice lizards. I am impressed about the temperament of these guys. I don't know too much before I ordered these guys, too much about these spiny iguanas, but um, temperament seems so far a lot better than your average green iguana. I have been very impressed about these guys. I'm definitely gonna order through this company again because I have yet to see anything that looks malnourished. Uh, parasite ridden, anything like that. All these guys are looking great. Of course, we're still gonna quarantine, which is why they're actually in the building. I have nothing else in here, but until then, uh, we're gonna do that average quarantine period, and then we'll uh, start releasing them for the public for selling. 
Next box, next box, next box. These boys are gonna be a little bit fresher than everything we looked at. I'm still very excited for this. I know a bunch of you guys have been asking me for a long time is, Dakota, are you gonna breed tegus? Are you ever gonna have tegu babies? What's going on with that? Well, here we are. I'm finally fulfilling your guys' need of tegus by Dakota. Wow, oh my God. Are they cool? They're like wicked cool. I'm trying to find the face. Boy. Woo! Take a look at this. This is a uh, this is a Florida imported tegu. Whoa boy! That is the male, and here is a female, I presume. Alright, bud. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh man, their nails are something else. Yeah, they're a little sharp. Take a look at that. A big beefy boy, and then we got the gal right here who is. Come on, focus. You gotta click on it. I can't, I don't you have can't. a hand. This is a, this is a two handed <laughs> job. My God, I'm just trying not to get my hands ripped up by these guys, but. Woo! Oh, don't drop your tail, honey. Here he is. He is a big guy. Wow, take a look at these. Big Florida import tegus, man. Yeah, get them out of Florida and into your homes. There we go. So I will not be breeding tegus, however, I will be taking them out of the wild of Florida and be selling them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna sell these guys at. I don't really know the market up. Ooh, a little fresh. A little, a little fresh? A little fresh. A little, Mine's not biting. A little He's just trying to get away. There we go, as soon as they calm down, they're a lot better. Of course, during this month of quarantine, we'll be taming these guys down to be nice tegus and not like this. Although, she's a lot not calmer. He was calm for a minute. Yeah, Wait, look at- poop on me? I feel like he's gonna poop. Look at him, he is impressive. And then, of course, this little gal's doing awesome too. I'm not 100% sure if it's a gal, I'm just guessing. This guy obviously has the jowls coming in and yeah. she's looking a little jowl-less, so I think this one's gonna be a gal, but these guys are just incredible. Some magnificent Florida tegus, man, coming at you in probably May, maybe a little later. Hey, little buddy. It oh, is May. Oh boy. Oh, coming at you in June, because <laughs> it is May. <laughs> oh man, these guys are awesome, yeah, we gotta, they're tearing up my hands. We gotta put them back. Put them in the bag. In the oh, bag. there you have it, folks. We got tegu, spiny-tailed iguanas, um, green-headed of uh, some things, rainbow whiptails, house geckos, and tokes coming at ya. So well, these tokes are gonna be for sale. Renee's trying to open one up. She's more braver than I am. I didn't really want to stick my hand in there. Look, this is just strange wrapping for tokes. That guy looks pretty nice. Yeah. We'll have to beef them up, obviously, yeah. get some insects in there, but um, there's another like really big one in here. Mm -hmm. It's a little but, yeah. dark. I'm sure he'll lighten up once he warms up. We'll have import tokes ready for you guys. Tegus, rainbow whip tails. <laughs> there you got it, folks. 25 new animals here at DBCB Exotics in this unboxing. The biggest we've ever had. So now it's your turn. Leave me a comment in the comment section. What was your favorite animal today? Mine was probably the rainbow whip tails or the uh, other dudes, the ones that were like, really, I like the greens and blues. I think they were fantastic, yeah. but really the big tegus were all. So there's a bunch of cool stuff. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite was. And then if you haven't had your reptile unboxing filling, if you haven't gotten enough, we got a video right here, right in front of Renee's face with some reptile unboxings. We got a playlist up here somewhere. And then we got this thing right here, which I'm not sure what it is. I'll know whenever I figured it out, but that is gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time.